What's going on, boxing fans? And we back at it right here at Tema Boxeo. And today's topic is going to be Virgil Ortiz versus Samuel Vargas. Uh, and I'm just going to give you guys a somewhat insight of the boxers' past fights uh, and all the info I have on these guys. And, you know, give you guys a prediction of how it's going to come out. So we'll get started with uh, Samuel Vargas. He's a, a Colombian Canadian with 31 fights, 14 KOs, and five losses, and and two of them coming by the way of KO. He's ranked 59 in the world. Uh, he has, I believe, 255 rounds that he has boxed. Uh, he is 31 years of age, Colombian, residing out of Canada, I'm guessing. But yeah, he has he has fought the likes of uh, Amir Khan, which he lost by unanimous decision. And uh, he's also fought Danny Garcia, which he lost by TKO. And he also fought Earl Spence, where he lost by TKO as well. And... Uh, you know, he's fought pretty solid dudes. Uh, those guys are the elite at the 147 welterweight division. And the other guy he also fought was Luis Colazo. Colazo's all right, but, you know, he's been he's been past it, but he still took the L. But, I mean, overall, you know, he, he has his, he's been in there with some pretty tough guys, and uh, he ain't no pushover. So he does have the experience, and he will he will somewhat test Virgil Ortiz, but I believe Virgil has what it takes to take him out. And so Virgil Ortiz, you know, he's a 21, uh, I mean, 22-year-old boxer from, from Texas, fighting out of Cali, uh, Riverside with, with uh, trainer Robert Garcia. You know, he has uh, he has 15 fights with 15 KOs, zero losses. He's ranked 21 in the world, 13 ranked in the USA, uh, I believe in the welterweight division. He has 38 rounds compared to uh, Samuel Vargas' 255, so that experience, you know, is huge. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but either way, uh, he's also 5'10", an uh, inch uh, taller than... Uh, than Samuel Vargas, so he just has the he has the edge in pretty much everything other than the experience. Uh, but I believe that will not will not play a factor in anything. If Virgil Ortiz doesn't knock him out early, he's gonna knock him out either by the sixth to tenth round, I believe. So, uh, yeah, this is somewhat to get more experience in. Uh, try to get rounds with the seasoned veteran that is uh, Samuel Vargas, but that ain't going to stop the the Mack truck that, that Virgil Ortiz is, is coming with, man, because he has that power, and he's going to obliterate that dude, show him that, that Mexican power right there. So uh, we'll see from there, you know, hopefully, because I'm rooting for Ortiz all the way. And... uh We'll see if he comes out victorious from there. We'll see where he goes on, man, to better things, you know. Uh, I believe he, he should be getting the big fights pretty soon. If uh, uh, if all goes well with this pandemic, that they're still able to box with no fans or however they do it. But let's hope they they can keep at least putting on fights for for us boxing fans and, you know, and everybody to at least, at least watch something exciting.